Kính thưa quý khán thính giả, lễ hội mừng Tết Trung Thu San Francisco đã diễn ra lúc 11 giờ 30 sáng đến 4 giờ chiều thứ Bảy ngày 30 tháng 9 năm 2017 tại Tenderloy Recreation Center 750 Ellis Street, San Francisco, CA 94109. Đây là lần thứ bảy liên tục hàng năm Trung tâm Âu Cơ phối hợp với các cộng đồng sắc tộc Đông Nam Á tại khu Lido Sài Gòn, gồm có Lào, Thái, Miên, Miến Điện, Phi, Mông cùng tổ chức và kết hợp Tết Trung Thu, một truyền thống của Việt Nam với tập tục ăn mừng vụ mùa của các sắc tộc bạn. Chương trình gồm có ca nhạc, múa, biểu diễn võ thuật, triển lãm và phục vụ ẩm thực truyền thống của các nước Đông Nam Á. Trẻ em đến đây có thể tham gia vào các trò chơi, học làm lồng đèn và nhận quà bánh trung thu, lồng đèn, bong bóng, vân vân. Đặc biệt, năm nay có mở ra cuộc tranh bóng đá có giải thưởng cho mọi lứa tuổi do nhóm Street Soccer USA đảm trách. Mời quý vị xem toàn bộ lễ hội Tết Trung Thu như sau. Water stations everywhere, okay? 
All right, so welcome to the seventh annual Mid-Autumn Harvest Festival, organized by the Southeast Asian Arts and Culture Coalition, also known as SEAC. My name is Mila Nguyen. And my name is Jacqueline Paul, and thank you so much for being here. Look at all you lovely faces. Can you please take a moment and say hello to someone, your neighbor, or someone you don't know? <laughs> We're all friends here today. And, your MCs for today. Today's festival celebrates the mid-autumn harvest season when the rice fields and other crops are harvested in Southeast Asia. During this time, people come together to celebrate the end of a hard season's work. And for those of you who are new to the festival, all the performances and demonstrations will take place on the stage. Inside, right here to my right, We'll have cultural exhibits, and we hope that you'll check out the children's activities out here, such as water buffaloes, water balloons, and lanterns. We'll be distributing free samples of different ethnic foods starting at 12.30, and we'll be giving away free mooncakes and lanterns for children. We'll also have sports activities throughout the day, including soccer games and demonstrations of Muay Thai, Tai Chi, and Wushu. <laughs> For those who have attended past festivals, our first performers will be very familiar to you. Once again, we have the Oko Zubik Ensemble here to start off our event. First, they'll play a medley of three songs representing different areas of Vietnam. The medley contains the songs Ing La Oi, Mu Sap. So that last song was Soya Thai. Then they'll play Mu O, or the umbrella, uh, umbrella Dance, which is a Vietnamese song about romance. The third song will be Thương Qua Việt Nam, a song about the Vietnamese, pe Vietnamese people's love for the country of Vietnam. Can we all give a big round of applause for the Oko Su Big Ensemble Group?
off the, today's event very beautifully. For seven years in a row now, the Mid-Autumn Harvest Festival in the Tenderloin has been organized by the Southeast Asian Arts and Co Culture Coalition. The coalition's founding members represent the Burmese, Cambodian, Laotian, Thai, and Vietnamese communities. They're also members of numerous Southeast Asian organizations throughout the Bay Area as well. SEAC's mission is to advance the visibility and vitality of Southeast Asian cultures through various educational, social, and cultural collaborations with numerous organizations. Today's festival is an obvious example of an, the ongoing collaboration between many different organizations, which allows all of us to celebrate the beauty of the Southeast Asian cultures, as well as that of other Asian cultures. We'd now like to take a moment to acknowledge the hard work of the festival's organizing partners. First, let's have Hang To and Search Chantia Sak, our co-chairs, come to the stage. Hang represents the Oko Vietnamese Cultural Center, and Search represents the International Lao New Year Festival and the Lao American Cultural Center. We'd also like to ask the following SEAC members who help organize the festival to come up to the stage. Kith Chentara from International Lao New Year, Chantanom Ong Kiao, Mitchell Bonner, and Seng, Seng Tang from Lao Siri Association, Joe So, and Miat Mon from One Myanmar Community. And a special thanks for Ratha Chun from Samaki Project for styling my beautiful traditional Cambodian dress. We also like to give a special thank you to Sandra Long from San Francisco Recreation and Parks. If you're here, please come to the stage. And the Tenderloin Children's Playground for hosting us year after year. Can we give them a big round of applause, please? It's a lot of hard work to put on a lot of hard work. Oh, Mitchell's coming up right now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wonderful. One more big round of applause, everybody. Take a bow, Thank everybody. You, Thank you so much for your hard work. <laughs> all right. Thank, Thank you. you. You can all exit this way. So we'd also like to acknowledge the groups and organizations who are performing today, as well as those who are here to support us. And I'm just going to read out those names. The uh, Southeast Asian Arts and Culture Coalition Tenderloin Residents, Buchanan YMCA, San Francisco Wushu Team, Cambodian Community Development, Center for Lao Studies, Khmer Youth of Modesto, San Bruno Thai Temple, Southeast Asian Mental Health Initiative, Street Soccer USA, Tenderloin Filipino American Community Association, World Team USA, Vietnamese Elderly Mutual Association of San Francisco, Vietnamese Family Support Services, Vietnamese Veterans Association of San Francisco, and Gamelan X. We would also like to thank our various sponsors. Please stand up and wave if you're here today. The Burmese Kitchen, Champa Garden, Evergreen Garden Restaurant, Bang San Thai, King of Thai Noodle, Cucina Nites, Authentic Filipino Cuisine, Recology, LaoAmericans.com, Mandalay Gazette, Mo Magazine, VietVinVin.com, and I'd also like to thank Tung Wake Designs for supplying me with this amazing dress. So thank you to everyone there. We'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge the following grant sponsors. Artworks, the California Arts Council, Grants for the Arts, the National Endowment for the Arts, the San Francisco Art Commission. And just quick, we have an announcement about the street soccer tournament, Search.
sorry. Hi, just want to uh, say uh, thank you to Street Soccer USA partnering with us this year to do the first Southeast Asian soccer, Street Soccer USA tournament. So we are looking for soccer players. If you're gonna be here all day, we're creating four age groups. Five to eight year old in one group. Winner of that group gets a trophy back there. Uh, nine to 12 year old group. Um, and then a 13 to 17 year old group. And 18 and up, so the adults, 18 and up group. If you wanna be on there, we're looking for four teams in each age group. Winner of each age group will win a trophy. All participants will get a medal at the end of the uh, day. And so, please support youth soccer. And lastly, want to thank the United Way of the Bay Area for donating uh, school bags with school supplies today. Thank you. Thank you, Serge. Uh, we also have a special guest with us today. We'd like to, uh, we have Emily Morassi, the commissioner from the San Francisco Board of Education. She'd like to say a few words. Can we please give her a round of applause? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Emily Murase, one of seven members of your Board of Education, and I have fantastic news. Last week, the test scores for uh, the statewide public schools came up, and guess what? San Francisco is the number one urban public school district in the state. Let's wow. sit here for our public schools. I really want to thank uh, Han Lei Do for inviting me here today. Let's give her a big round of applause. She's been doing this for seven years. I want to thank our beautiful MCs. Let's give them a big round of applause. And I also want to thank our sound people, the Leong brothers. They provide all the sound uh, as a community service. So please tell all your friends that San Francisco has the best public schools in California, and we will come back to you uh, requesting your support throughout the year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Morase. Can we please give her another round of applause for coming out to our event today? Last but not least, thank you to all the volunteers who help make this event possible every year. They were here setting up yesterday and today, and you, if you see them around, making, make sure that you say hello and thank you. Without them, we wouldn't be having our seventh annual festival. Thank you so much, volunteers. All right. Okay, <laughs> so let's get, let's get back to our performances now. So first up, we're going to have a performance inspired by a Burmese folktale called Lati. Lati is a celebratory dance, and it's a dance that's usually performed on the night of the full moon with a bonfire raging. It celebrates the end of the harvest, and we'd like to get, we'd like to ask you to give a very, very big round of applause for our wonderful young performers next. Good afternoon. Today I will be singing um, a song called Lati, and please enjoy.
is May. My name is Kong. My name is Jessica. And can you please give them a big round of applause for their beautiful singing and dancing? Thank you. Thank you guys. We really appreciate having you here with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Feel free to, you can exit this way and feel free to join in on all the festivities and everything today. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So up next, we have another Burmese performer. Her name is Amy, and she will be performing um, a dance to the song Kind Mala Nancy, which is a song about a beautiful woman. Nancy means rose, so this is about a beautiful Burmese woman. Please give Amy a big round of applause. We're just, we're having a little bit of a technical difficulty. So, Amy, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm 15 years old and in 10th grade and I'm from Fremont. Oh, wow. How long have you been dancing for? Uh, I've been dancing since I was six or seven. And can you tell me how much time do you take to practice your dances? Um, before, I used to take like a week or more, but now I take like about an hour. How did you get started dancing? Um, so the first time I danced, I, did, I was playing around and I didn't really want to dance, but my mom's friend was teaching other kids how to dance, so she dragged me in and I had the passion for dancing ever since then. Peer pressure does some amazing things, folks. So it looks like we're good with the audio, so we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the dance. Thank you, Amy.
in the Lao culture. This playful folk dance originates from the Stung Treng province of Cambodia, where one of the big biggest ethnic minorities is the Lao people. The dance is symbolic of the long-lasting friendship between the Lao and the Cambodian people. The dance depicts the Khmer or Cambodian men courting the Lao women using the cane instrument. The female dancers are dressed as Lao women, while the male dancers are in traditional Khmer clothing called the Kabin. Lady, everyone, please give a big round of applause for the Khmer youth of Modesto.
College Goodbye Youth of Modesto. Okay, great. Next, we'd like to introduce Polly Smith. She serves as both teacher and president of the Kamaya Youth of Modesto. She is, she is also a singer in a band called Lantrei Sroksrai. She's now going to perform a few Cambodian social dance songs for us to enjoy. These include Ramvong, Saravan, and Kantrem. The songs you'll hear and the dances you'll see are enjoyed at parties or big ceremonial celebrations where the young and old come together to celebrate. You'll see modern dance as well as moves adapted for more traditional dances. They've also extended an invitation to all of you in the audience to get up and join in on the dancing as well. Thank you so much for that beautiful introduction. How's everyone here today? It's hot, but uh, I have an open heart. We're, we're so happy to be here to join us on a beautiful sunny day in San Francisco. I'd like to also introduce my partner, Ms. Kimmy. She uh, is the instructor for the Robamba dance that you just witnessed was a, the folk dance, Robamken. Come on up, Ms. Kimmy. And she's going to join me in her beautiful voice. I don't have a voice today. I did not sleep all night <laughs> last night. So I will try my best. And we have our one man band. My husband here, Mr. Keith. <laughs> Please join us as our dancers uh, will be out there in the audience and to invite you to come up and join us and have a little fun with the, the social dances that you will see like at weddings and parties.
leave the stage, I will do the Sarvan. Sarvan. Find a partner. Sarvan. No, we need a partner over here, Rosa. I can feel the breeze. It's perfect timing, Ms. Rata. There's plenty of space over here. Get ready for some cha-cha-cha. One more, one more, please. 